Today in the Detail Garage, we're gonna go over a complete guide on how to clean a motorcycle leather race suit. Now, I looked online for a tutorial or an informational guide or even a video, and I couldn't find anything on how to clean a motorcycle suit. So we're gonna go ahead and break down all the products you need to keep your suit looking good. Now, the suit that we're gonna be cleaning today is a Dionese Laguna Seca Pro Race Suit. Now, this suit, as you can see, it's white leather, and white leather gets extremely dirty. So there's a lot of bugs on the suit. There's a lot of areas that have black marks on them from rubbing against the motorcycle. And there's a lot of dirt from just hitting on the road because that's where all the dirt and nasty stuff is in the air gets stuck on the suit. So we're gonna break down the suit, clean it up, bring back that white look, and we're gonna use all the right products to keep it looking good. Now, motorcycle suits can be very expensive. This suit costs over $1,200. So if you have a suit like that, it's gonna be a very expensive investment into your riding and you want to make sure that if you keep it clean and you maintain it it's going to stay looking good for years now just like leather on an automobile leather motorcycle suits can crack they can fade they can become discolored and they can wear out faster if they're not maintained and have that original soft feel so let's break down everything we need to do to clean this suit the right way so what we're going to be using to clean the motorcycle suit is we're going to be using uh, chemicalized leather cleaner. Now this is a good leather cleaner to use. You can use any leather cleaner you like. Uh, I recommend a pH neutral leather cleaner. And this one's perfect for that because as you can see, it's clear. So the leather cleaner is first gonna pull off all the dirt without harming the leather. Now this suit is actually not 100% leather. It's actually uh, like an abrasion resistant fabric and leather. So the leather cleaner being pH neutral and having no color and no scent, it's gonna clean the fabric as well and we'll give that area a nice cleaning to remove any bugs or any type of road debris. Now, once we've broken down all of the uh, dirt and all the grime off the leather and brought back that nice white color, we need to go ahead and protect the leather. Now, we're not gonna use the leather conditioner because leather conditioner can often make the suit feel slippery. And if you notice on the back of the suit, the rear portion is full leather. So you're sitting on a motorcycle and if that area is too slippery, you're gonna be sliding around on the seat. So we're gonna be applying Chemical Guys Leather Protectant Serum to the suit, and that's gonna make sure that the suit has good UV resistance against sun or any type of water or any type of debris that lands on the suit, it's gonna be able to be cleaned off easy. Now to clean the suit, we're also gonna be using some 16 by 16 workhorse leather microfiber towels. And we're also gonna be using the Chemical Guys Leather Horsehair Brush to scrub the leather. I also have a few little things for tighter areas, like I have a horsehair detailing brush, and I also have a little stiffer foam uh, and microfiber applicator pad. This is kind of a cotton, more of a cotton blend, and I can use that to scrub off things like bugs off the suit. And to apply the uh, leather protectant, I'm gonna be using a premium microfiber applicator pad. You can use a foam applicator pad, or you can use a microfiber towel, but this is gonna be great because it's gonna allow me to control how much product I push into these holes. And one thing I wanna notice, uh, I wanna tell you guys about this before we start, is I placed down a super large edgeless black microfiber towel on the table. Now that's just to pick up any mess or any extra dirt or cleaner that lands on the table, it's gonna be absorbed by the microfiber. Now this suit is a little bit challenging to detail because it's what's called perforated. So the whole front of the suit and the back of the suit has thousands of little tiny holes all over the suit. Now these let air in to keep the rider cool, but that can be a challenge to detail because my cleaner and my protectant is gonna sink into these little holes. So we'll show you the right way to do that so you don't push too much cleaner into the suit. So let's start the top and we'll work our way down. I'm gonna first grab some microfiber towels and I'm also gonna grab this uh, little cotton sponge I have and my brush. Now let's start on the, on the uh, shoulder cups. Now the shoulder cups have a lot of bugs on it and there's a lot of bugs at the top of the suit from riding. So we're gonna take a microfiber towel and we're gonna first spray our microfiber towel with our leather cleaner. Now this leather cleaner you can use uh, straight uh, I cut it one to one, so I cut it with half water and half leather cleaner to uh, take some of the strength down so I don't hurt this leather. This leather is what's called D-Skin Leather by Dionese, and the leather is actually treated. It has a layer on top to resist any type of contamination. I don't want to hurt that type of layer, so I reduced my power of my cleaner to make sure that I clean appropriately. So let's take my cleaner, spray it on my microfiber towel, and then I'm going to go ahead and try to scrub off any of the dirt. Now I'm using the microfiber towel and you notice just after a few wipes, the suit is 
getting very white. And that's the cool thing about white leather is when it's clean, it looks real good. But when it's dirty, it just doesn't look too hot. So we're going to clean all the little parts. Now, there's some bugs on here that are getting a little bit too stuck on. So I'm going to take my, uh, my pad and I'm going to spray directly on the suit. And I'm going to scrub any bugs off. Now this little pad right here is doing a great job of literally just scrubbing down the suit and bringing back that white look. Now uh, one thing about this suit that is noticeable is there's a lot of different colors on the suit. There is white, there's black, and there's also uh, different types of fabric on there, not just leather. So I want to be really careful and take notice about what I'm cleaning and that I'm not hurting the leather or taking off any white color. Look at the difference right there. We're getting a nice, uh, beautiful, awesome white color just off the top of the shoulder, which is really great. So let's, let's move our way down to the bottom. Now down here on the bottom, there's some uh, black scuff marks from leaning on the tank. Let's try and see if we can clean those as well. I'm going to use this little sponge I have. This is doing a great job, so let's scrub. Now you guys notice just after a few swipes, with the microfiber cotton applicator pad, I'm able to scrub off all of the dirt. Now if you want, take your sleeves, zip them up, and maybe stick your hand in and hold it right there, and you can go ahead and clean all the areas without worrying about having to grab the suit in a weird way. Now the reason we wanted to make this video for you guys is because if you're detailing motorcycles, a lot of riders might have a leather suit or leather gear like jackets, pants, gloves, boots. Uh, all these products that you're using today can be used on boots, can be used on suits, jackets, uh, any type of leather motorcycle gear. So offer that to your clients if you like and say, hey, I can clean your bike too, but I can also clean your gear, keep your gear looking great. Now once I've scrubbed my area, I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I'm just going to gently wipe off all of my um, all of my cleaner to make sure I have a nice dry surface. Now it's making the leather look real good. You notice it's taking all the shine off the leather. Leather's not supposed to be shiny. It's actually supposed to have a, a nice matte finish and look original. Uh, now the reason that leather actually gets shiny is from body oils and grease and all the nasty stuff that's landing on the leather. And you can see just from the work that we're doing right here on this corner, the leather's looking a lot brighter. Now I'm going to work on this area and we'll get some cameras in here to show you guys how I'm working and, and how to get the right results on the leather. And then we'll move our way down on the suit and try to clean it up. So we finished cleaning the front of the suit and as you can see there was a lot of black spots, a lot of bugs, but the leather cleaner took it off like that and it really restored that rich, beautiful white look, especially on the areas that were really dirty. So now I took the suit and I flipped it over and this suit is a little bit more difficult to clean than just a leather jacket because it doesn't really lay perfectly flat. There's a lot of weird contours and a lot of areas that need a little bit more cleaning. Uh, now on the back, there's also this speed hump and the speed hump has uh, vents in it. I want to be careful not to spray chemical in the vent because it might hurt the foam or anything that the vent is made out of. Uh, now what I've been using is I've been using the leather cleaning brush. This is a horsehair brush and this is actually doing a great job on all the bigger areas. So I'm going to use this leather brush to just scrub the whole back of the suit, including the rear portion, which has a lot of stains from sitting down. So I'm going to spray the leather cleaner directly on the jacket itself. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to scrub it down.
Now the best thing about this brush is that it gets in all the little tight areas like on this area that has all this elastic paneling. I can scrub it and it still gets deep in there. Now I'm also going to clean the speed hump because the leather cleaning brush is gentle enough to clean any, pretty much any surface and it won't harm it. Now when I'm done with an area, I'm going to take a microfiber towel. I'm just going to try and just wipe off all the residue. You never want to let cleaner like leather cleaner or any all-purpose cleaner dry on the surface. You want to make sure that it is always wiped 100% clean so it doesn't dry in a film or hurt the leather or any type of surface that you're cleaning. What I'm liking about this leather cleaner on this white leather is that it's taking away that uh, nasty uh, feeling of the leather where it feels greasy and it looks greasy and before this suit used to feel stiffer now it's feeling very soft and plush and the leather is feeling more pliable it, it lays a little bit easier and it feels softer in the hands now I'm gonna work on the last part this is probably uh, the dirtiest part of the back and since it's, there's no perforations or anything I'm just gonna spray the leather cleaner on the material. I'm going to take my leather cleaning brush and I'm just going to scrub all the dirt away. Now this leather cleaner actually foams so you notice I'm getting a nice foaming action. This is good. It pulls away all the dirt and uh, makes it feel super soft. Now, if you guys are watching this video and you want to see other videos about cleaning leather, we've practically cleaned uh, supercars, Bentleys, Mercedes-Benz, uh, all different types of vehicles and all different types of leather. So maybe I'll put a link like right here You can click this little box and that will take you to more leather cleaning videos on our channel. There we go. Now I'm going to take my towel again and I'm just going to gently wipe off all of the excess cleaner. Now the cool thing about this cleaner is that I don't have to worry about getting it on fabric. There's all, a lot of the inner panels like the inner legs and the inner arms are all this uh, like abrasion resistant fabric. It's super thick and super heavy duty but it's not affected by the leather cleaner because the leather cleaner can be used to clean fabric. It can be used to clean leather, synthetic leather, pleather. Uh, it can even be used to clean exotic types of leathers. So I know a lot of guys out there have motorcycle suits that are made out of kangaroo or goat skin or goat palm. So you can use, uh, you can use all our leather cleaning products on all those different types of leathers. Now this is a cowhide suit. So it's a traditional uh, natural uh, cow leather. There we go. So now the whole back of the suit is super clean. I mean, as you can see, the butt portion of the suit is looking nice and white again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the suit over and we're going to go ahead and apply our protection to the suit. So now we've got the leather suit looking great. We got all the dirty black spots off and it looks fantastic again. So now we're going to go ahead and protect the leather suit because we put in all that work scrubbing the leather. We want to make sure it looks good and stays looking good. Now we're going to use the brand new Chemical Guys Leather Protectant Serum. Now this is a leather protectant cream that covers leather and actually protects it against UV solar rays, contamination, and any type of environmental damage that can happen to leather. Now leather was skin, it's an animal skin, and you want to make sure that it stays soft because if it doesn't stay soft, if it doesn't stay pliable, it's going to crack. And once it cracks, there's no way to repair that leather ever again. It's completely destroyed. So the leather protectant serum is going to give UV blockers and UV inhibitors into the leather. Now I'm going to show you how to apply this to the surface and we're using the leather protectant instead of leather serum because if you guys out there know ride motorcycles, you already know you don't want anything slippery on the bike ever. You're not supposed to put tire dressing anywhere and you're not supposed to put any type of slippery feel on your uh, gear. So we're going to be using the leather protectant serum because it's not going to give a slippery feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my serum and I'm going to place a little bit on my applicator pad. And then I'm going to take the applicator pad itself and I'm going to fold it just like this. And I want to rub all of that protection cream into the applicator pad. Now the reason I want to do this is because uh, there's perforations in the leather and if we're shoving 
protectant or product inside those holes, uh, we're never going to be able to get it out. So this way, we're only spreading it on the top of the leather. Now I'm just going to take my cream and I'm going to spread it all over the leather. Now this works on all types of leather surfaces. So it works on pleather, it works on leather or synthetic leather as well. Now this is uh, what's called Dynase D skin. It's treated leather, has like a protective layer on it. And this will actually protect that and work great on that type of color. So I'm going to work away. My, I'm going to work my way around the suit. I'll start at the top. I'm going to flip the suit over and do the back as well, uh, and then we're going to buff it off and show you guys the results. So we're back, and our leather protectant serum is dried on the surface. We allowed it to dry for 20 minutes, so it gets a nice bond on the leather. Now I'm going to take another uh, tan workhorse microfiber towel, and I'm just going to buff off the extra protectant. Now if you apply a nice thin coat just like I did, there really won't be very much to remove. There might be a, a spot or two, but you're going to get a nice clean removal of all the leather protectant on the surface. Now remember, this doesn't just work on leather motorcycle suits. It works on any type of fine leather goods, so custom bags, purses, uh, any type of jacket or apparel, belts, shoes. Uh, these leather cleaning products are top notch and they're going to look the best. And really, there we go. Now our Dionysi suit really looks good. Has that beautiful white color again. I know white's often a very difficult color leather to maintain, but you can easily clean it up in just a few minutes using Chemical Guys Leather Care products. Now, leather is often really difficult to take care of. You have to put a lot of effort into it to keep it looking good. And out of all the leather stuff you're cleaning, probably a suit's gonna be the hardest thing to clean. But any type of car leather seat or any type of motorcycle leather seat or motorcycle bags like on a Harley Davidson, all these products are gonna work great if you follow the right techniques and you take care of your leather, it's gonna last for years. Now, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, if you wanna check out all the products that we use in this video, the protectant serum, the leather cleaner, all the brushes, towels, and accessories that we offer, go to our website, chemicalguys.com. I'll put a link right here in the video. You can check out all the hundreds of other products that we have for cars, trucks, motorcycles, RVs, uh, even boats and watercraft, everything you need to keep your car looking great. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button, find it, click it. Uh, we have over 100,000 subscribers and all of you guys out there get the videos the fastest and best way possible right through YouTube, all 100% for free. Hopefully we'll see you next time right here in the Detail Garage. Always remember to have fun, stay clean, keep on detailing.